Hello family, hello friends. Sharon Anthony here from Faith 5 Fellowship Ministry. Just wanted to give you a quick bite. Have you ever been in a situation where your hope is gone? Have you ever heard a medical report, a financial situation, a relation issue where somebody and you um, just couldn't see a future in this situation for you and your hope is gone? I want to read for you a verse of scripture from Romans 8, 24. Cheryl's going to read you why hope is so important and God gives us hope. No matter what's happening in your life, there is hope. That's right. For we were saved in this hope. This hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope, if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. So you're going to need perseverance to maintain your hope. Why is hope so important? Because hope is the fuel, is the constant thing that strengthens your faith. Mm -hmm. You know, we preach about faith in God, but understanding that if there is no hope, we cannot have faith. Wow. Because without hope, faith has nothing to stand on. But I hear you say, but the Bible says hope comes by hearing God's word. No, but faith. I, faith comes by hearing God's word. Yeah. But if you have no hope, when the word God word comes to you, you don't even want to believe it. But when you have hope, your faith arises. And when your faith in your heart arises, you believe God's word. That's right. And when you begin to believe God's word in That's spite right. of the circumstances That's and right. the situations, yes. you are going to persevere, mm -hmm. press through. Mm -hmm. Don't let the situation, your feelings, your emotions, other people doubt because the Bible says Abraham staggered not at the promises of God. He persevered even when the situations around Abraham was so contrary because he had hope. Hope is That's what right. stirs my faith. And, and my faith is sustained by the word. That is so true. And you're saying, you keep using the word hope. Mm -hmm. But really what is hope? Hope is mm -hmm. confidence mm -hmm. in what God has said. Hope is an expecting expectation of the promises of God. Mm -hmm. So that's why if we don't get the word, mm -hmm. if we don't have the word, mm -hmm. faith comes by hearing the word. Mm -hmm. So you've got the word in you. Mm -hmm. So guess what? You're expecting what God has said mm -hmm. to come to pass. So you hope. And our hope in God does not make us ashamed. Now hope doesn't come from me. That's correct. It doesn't even come from the Bible. Because mm -hmm. we, cannot, we can read the scriptures and many people read the Bible but they have no hope in them. Hope comes from God. God is the source of my hope. That's right. God is the one that eagerly lets me believe. And in mm. my believing, I'm creating an atmosphere, a ground around me to believe what God said. That's me. correct. Abraham never had a scripture verse to quote. But in his heart, he heard what God said. He heard what God said. And hope springs eternal. That's correct. Right where you are, right where you are, what you're experiencing today. Our prayer for you is that hope will begin to stir. I know they told you that it's, you, you can't operate. I know they told you about your finances. I know they told you that you're losing that job or your house or relationship is going down and there's no way that this marriage will survive or this relationship will continue. But hope rises up and as your hope in God, he brings to you a word and that word is going to begin to stir your faith to believe God and persevere through the situation. That's correct. Because no matter how dark the night is, the morning is coming. Yes. No matter how painful the situation, it must stop. That's right. No matter how much you're hurting right now, it will not last. But hope will, because it comes from God in your heart. And have faith in Him today. That's right. He's more than enough. That's correct. He's a God of more than enough. Mm -hmm. Have faith. Because you got hope. And we're going to close with this verse, Romans 15, yes. verse 13. Mm -hmm. Now may the God of hope, yes, the God of hope, hope, fill you with all joy and peace. Yes. In believing I believe. that you may abound mm -hmm. in hope. I believe. This. By the power mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. I believe. Hope thou in, in God. God. 
We're so happy that you joined us for this Faith Bite. Yes. And I don't know if you were actually in the room on Saturday, mm -hmm. the 30th, September the 30th, Incredible. for our celebration of 20 plus years. But if you weren't, just go to Faith Bite, mm -hmm. do our Facebook page, mm -hmm. and you can watch it there yes. and live stream. Yes. But we're happy that you joined us today, mm -hmm. and it is our hope and prayer. Yes. It is our hope and our, our prayer hope. that prayer. you would continue to walk in faith, yes. knowing that he that has called you, yes. he is faithful. Amen. Blessing. Amen. 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 Have a good day. Awesome day ahead of you. Night hope. or evening. Yes.